this was uh, taken from the boat captain uh, by Navy personnel in Bulinao. Uh, it says here the boat captain of the fishing uh, boat, Mr. Balbores, indicated that at the time of the incident they were not tied to the payao as earlier claimed. Mm -hmm. Ang nangyari dito, una nakatali, but because of bad weather, malakas ang wind, natanggal. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fishing boat was almost submerged. Almost submerged. So marami ng tubig ang mga kain ng lang baka. When the ship came, Balmores claims that the ship passed near them but did not actually ram them. Mm -hmm. However, it also did not stop to rescue them. The identity of ship, they only noticed the markings Hong Kong with Chinese characters below it at the back portion of the ship. Okay. Ang nagyari ganito, nakita yung Hong Kong, that is the ship registry. Nung, so, kung nakaregister sa Hong Kong yan, lahat may Hong Kong. Merong pangalan pa rin sa ibabaw. Ang nasabi ng what? Peach Mountain. Oh, Peach Mountain. But according to the Philippine Navy, that's why I brought along uh, Admiral Pama here to explain to you uh, that uh, it is possible na Peach Mountain na nakatama. It is also possible na hindi yung Peach Mountain. Because of the course of the ship and at the same time the speed of the ship based on the distance kung saan nangyari at kung saan chinales. Remember we have a coast watch station somewhere in Sambales. Pag kumapasok sa radar natin, we challenge. So, magsasagot yan. Ngayon, nakarecord yun sa coast watch station natin. Merong pinangyarihan, so ipa-plot natin yung distance at saka ipa-plot ko yung time nung uh, movement ng barko based on the speed. Oh, it was uh, on June 20, about 9 in the morning. Among other ships that, uh, that were monitored by the Coast Watch Station in Zambales, one of them was Peach Mountain. And at that time, uh, she was monitored to be in the area uh, somewhere in Narciso Zambales um, at about 8.45 of June 12, with a course of 353 degrees, meaning halos pagpuntang proceeding north, at a speed of 10.1 knots. And um, the incident, uh, as reported, estimated to be in an area sa about 978 nautical miles northwest of Bolinao. And um, in sum, the area of the incident <coughs> to where the last uh, report where the Peach Mountain was is about 113 nautical miles, more or less. So if you're just going to compute on the basis of the speed of the, the ship, at 9 in the morning, she cannot be in that particular area, which is 130 miles away. However, this is not a definitive uh, uh, conclusion, since as we all know, there are other factors that may increase or decrease the speed of a vessel. Uh, take note that right, uh, at this time, we are in southwest monsoon period, so yung general direction po ng hangin sa kaalot is papuntang northeast. So posible rin po na bumilis yung barko, posible rin po na na-maintain yung speed. So computing po yung uh, takbo ng barko na to, kung na-report na, na siya sa maling sambales at around 9, and kung siya ay tumakbo lang po ng 10.1 uh, knots, it would take her about 13 hours to be in the location when it was um, the incident happened. However, we are still checking. This is not a definitive uh, or conclusive uh, report because we are also checking other sources of data. We are looking at uh, no less than 90 ships, and at this point, at this point, we are not discounting anybody 
based on a lot of factors kasi kasama rin po dyan sabi ko nga kanina posibleng ang registered speed ng barko is 10 knots or 15 knots pero marami pong factors ang pumapasok dyan hangin, yung direksyon ng kuryente and uh, isa rin pong nagpapahirap sa sito sa aming uh, pag-aaral ngayon dahil hindi pa rin po ganun ka ganda yung sitwasyon ng ating mga mangingisda kahit yung mga inputs po nila medyo we are treating it with caution also as to where exactly the incident happened kasi wala nga silang GPS nung nangyari yun based lang dun sa kanilang observations din so lahat po ito tinitingnan natin based on the available data that we have and based on certain uh, statements that are being given